Hi everyone, I've got some tips for you guys that are using your iPhones and girls and uh, you ever circle something in your photos and it kind of looks like, um, let's see, we're going to edit, we're going to go into markup, we're going to take something like, say this rabbit, and we're going to draw a circle around it and it looks like that. It doesn't need to look like that because if you draw all the way around and you hold your finger to the end of the line, you're going to get a perfect circle. Now it does more than circles though. So just so that you're aware, you might want to try something like, I don't know, if you want to draw an arrow, you're going to get a perfect arrow. If you want to draw a line, you do the same thing. When you get to the end of the line, you hold the end of the line, you have a perfectly straight line. You can do other shapes, like you could do a square. And you're going to get a perfect square. And, you know, it, it does stars, it does triangles. Um, and you might want to experiment. You might even find other shapes that, you know, are not part of what I'm telling you. Um, the second thing that I wanted to show you is going to be with stickers and how you combine two photos together. So I have, I have this young lady here who I don't know. I just downloaded the photo for whatever reason, you know, to show you on this little video. And I want to put her on this background like she's in a different place. So if we select the photo and we just hold our finger over her, we're going to, and we're, I'm just holding it down. We get, did you see the white line that went around? What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a sticker. I've already done this. So now I'm going to have two stickers. So I have two stickers of her. And when I come over here and I select this photo, if I click edit and I go into my markup again, which is the marker, and I select the plus sign down on the bottom right here, I can add a sticker. Now I'll just pick the first one that I did. There's the sticker. You can resize it. You can adjust where it is. If I select done. She's now part of the photo. I can select done again, and I have a new photo. Again, if I would do, do some color grading on that to kind of match it up, it'd look a whole lot better. That was just quick and, you know, simple. Put it in there, get it done. So that's number two. Number three, you guys might be curious, like, can I do a long exposure photo? You absolutely can. And you can do a couple other things with this little trick. And this is, this is kind of a key one. So I've got this little waterfall, and you know how long exposures would look like with that almost look like it's misting down the river and it would be all like you know that airy light feeling if if you take a live photo and it has to be a live photo when you do the the, the photo you get a three second clip okay when you come into your photo library see this live on the upper left if you click on the drop down list there's long exposure select long exposure and you have that misty look now it's very important that you might want to use a tripod with this because if it's moving at all, the rest of the photo is not going to be clear. It's going to be all blurry. Okay. There's other options in here as well. You have the ability to loop, which is going to be just an endless loop of the video. So it's almost going to look like a movie because that's just a picture of a stream or you can bounce. Bounce is going forward and backward. So it's going to go forward for a little while, backward for a little while, forward for a little while. Cool tips. Okay. Just figured everybody would like to know that. It's going to make you, you know, maybe you got some more creative ideas because of it. That's great. If you can send a like on the video, that'd be cool. Make sure you share it with your friends. I'd love to see you subscribe to the channel because this isn't the only thing we do on the channel. We have, you know, movies and stuff like that. Anyway, have a great day, guys and girls.